The Valencia Open 500 is a tournament reborn. In 2009, it transitioned from a spring clay court event to an indoor hard court tournament. Valencia's City of the Arts and Sciences is the backdrop for a week-long festival of tennis. The contemporary and sleek design of the Agora building hosts the 5,500 capacity centre court. It's the only event on the ATP World Tour part owned and organised by two active players, David Ferrer and Juan Carlos Ferrero. You know, it's a big tournament in, in the tour, I think. Uh, the, you know, the city is amazing, Valencia, and uh, the course, uh, the place we play. So I think it's very, very impressive. All the players that uh, play there they told me that it's amazing. So, you know, of course, I'm very proud to be part of and, uh, you know, I, I'll try to keep. David Ferrer came into his hometown tournament as defending champion. But before the event, Ferrer and Ferrero joined Rohan Bapana and Feli Lopez in Corona's longest serve for charity, raising money for the Ferrero Foundation. The first of the Valencia semi-finals saw 2010's runner-up Marcel Granolas face 2009 US Open champion Juan Martín del Potro. The Spaniard had knocked out three top 20 ranked players en route to the semis and completed a fourth scalp with another sensational display. Winning in straight sets, 6-4, 7-6. The second semi was another Argentine-Spanish affair. Juan Monaco facing David Ferrer and the world number 41 defeated last year's champion to make his first final of the year. So Sunday's showpiece saw Granolas going for his second title of the year, Monaco for his first since 2007. They'd met twice previously with honours even. Their most recent encounter had been at last year's quarter-final stage in Valencia, Granolas victorious. And the 25-year-old made the strongest start this time, eager to impress his home fans, who went on to take the opening set 6-2. The significance of the contest for both men was huge. The Spanish number six was aiming to win his first title on hard courts, whilst the man from Tandil was in his first ATP World Tour final for more than 18 months. As the second set progressed, it appeared Granolas was dealing with the pressure better. However, the Argentinian battled back, aiming to end a trophy drought which stretched to over four years and Monaco took the second set in the end, 6-4. Into the decider, and Monaco made the stronger start, breaking straight away. However, the world number 34 was not about to crumble. Neither player could force another break of serve, so a tie-break would decide the title. And it was the Spaniard who held his nerve, taking the break a 7-3, and winning in just over three hours. It's a third ATP World Tour title for Marcel Granolitz. A memorable week for one of Spain's lesser-known sons. So the top eight in the South African Airways 2011 ATP rankings looks like this. With Novak Djokovic, Rafa Nadal, Andy Murray, Roger Federer and David Ferrer all qualified for the season-ending Barclays ATP World Tour finals. That means the battle is hotting up for the remaining three places. The Czech Thomas Burdick is currently in sixth. Frenchman Joe Wilfred Songer is seventh. And America's Marty Fish is eighth. In the 2011 ATP doubles team rankings, the top seven have now all qualified for London, with Rohan Bapana and Asimul Hep Qureshi the latest pair to make it. So there's one place left for London. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we're in Paris for all the action from the last ATP World Tour Masters 1000 event of the season. And we meet an old double act newly reformed this season, the legendary Mahesh Bhupati and Leander Pays. 
Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. See you next week.